to make on what I'm making right now. We're making less, but we're being taxed more. I have a son that's in 10th grade, and for him to go on to college, I don't know what we're going to do. Everybody needs to pay their fair share of taxes. Hey, I'm Jane Taylor, and I'm a school bus driver for West St. Paul. Terry Buttleman, Special Ed Para West St. Paul. We had a governor that said, you know, no new taxes, but you know, if you look at my property tax bill, you can definitely see that there were new taxes. But if they would up the taxes on the, my house where I live at now, the duplex, they would up my rent. They have to up the rent. I don't know what I would do if I could even stay there because I just can't afford it. Everybody needs to pay their fair share of taxes. You know, $200 out of your paycheck mm -hmm. is, is quite a bit in a percentage mm -hmm. of your income. When we were at that level, I was down at the state capitol talking to people saying, go ahead and raise my taxes. I would gladly pay that to have some of those safety nets. This is Minnesota. A lot of companies come to Minnesota because of the higher amenities that Minnesota offers. And I'd hate to see us have a reputation where people get transferred here and want to go back to their home state because their home state is better. I think we really need to have a good educated workforce so we can keep some of our jobs here and I, I think they're going to have to be in the higher tech areas and not so much in manufacturing. Right. And now I have a son that's in 10th grade and for him to go on to college, I don't know what we're going to do unless he would get some scholarships because being a single parent, uh, we can't save any money. We, we're, you know, like I say, we're hardly making it now and I don't want to discourage them either you know, and thinking, well, I don't want you to go on to school because we can't afford it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I want him to be able to make something of himself. You know, I really enjoy my job as a special ed para working with the kids. And there was time when I had a little bit extra time where I could work with my kids and get to help some of the other kids in the classroom. And now with these recent budget cuts, I don't have that time to help the extra kids. When I lost my job, two years ago. I thought if I was going to work and do something again for the rest of my life, I wanted to do something that I was going to really enjoy. And for me, I love driving the school bus with the kids because I want their ride to school, to school and home from school, enjoyable. So they feel cherished right. and welcomed yeah. and loved. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. nice to have that extra couple minutes in a child's life to make it a is. difference. It is. It really is.